Hey y'all, it's Mono. I want to get right into this. I was editing another video looking on eBay and I came across this Black Lotus auction that you're looking at right now, which ends in uh, about two and a half hours. So it's current price bid, I should say, and it's a bid. You know, you always got to give uh, credit to people that are willing to put out these uh, high priced items as a straight auction. About $8,100. He's calling it, and this is why I wanted to uh, do the video. He's calling it like heavily played, okay? Now look at this video. I think this guy has a really, really nice car. Notice how the light hits the surface. There's hardly any scratches. Now the back definitely shows the wear around the edges. No problem there, moderately played. We really, really looked into it. Could be a light play sitting in there. But this, you, you see the inking, no inking on the side. He's showing you that there might be a ding in that upper left corner, but this is a really, really nice card. As you look at the still image, you definitely can see the wear around the edges. But often when you're getting into heavily played, you're gonna see like just scuffing on the general part of the card. And as you saw in the video, it was a nice one. The surfaces look pretty good. So yeah, that from looking at this, this is probably more moderately played, but someone might walk away with the Lotus here for under $10,000. Now there is two and a half hours left for the auction, okay? And maybe this thing skyrockets up to 20,000 plus or something like that, but check this out here. Here's another auction for a buy it now, rated 7.5. He wants $27,000. Now, of course, he has to get the $27,000, right? I mean, you can ask anything you want, but it gives you an idea of what people's perceived value is. So in about two and a half hours, I'm gonna come back to this auction and we'll take a look and see how this thing actually played out. So we have one minute and 40 seconds left. And from two hours and 29 minutes ago, it's only gone up about 120 bucks. So we're going to see in our last minute, will the snipes happen? Again, I do not believe this is heavily played if you're like a grading Nazi, and that's fair. A lot of people are. When you're looking at these super rare cards and you're looking at this card, the front of this card is amazing. Inside of a sleeve, it would look beautiful. And so there's elements of Yes, I want to nerd out and get a, a great vintage of wine, if you please, and uh, watch and say, who wants to touch me? Who wants to touch me? I said, who wants to fucking touch me? Who, you know, and look through the card and see the front and back and all that stuff. And then there's the straight I appeal. I appeal has a lot of sway with collectors and with players. Like, does it look good when it's sitting on the board? And this card looks great. So $8,226.24. I'm always looking here, is 17, 16, 15. Will we get that final snipe bit? Nine, eight, seven, $9,000. There you go, someone 9138. Oh, 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 and it's over. Who got it? 9,200 bucks for a unlimited Black Lotus that in my opinion looked pretty amazing. It's a separate video, but I'll tell you, I think that cards right now are at some of the lowest prices we've seen in a while. So a Thalid would call this the accumulation phase. Start looking at some prices on things like my, uh, big card that I kept buying, and I've got several of them now, are Alpha Juggernauts. They were uncommons, they were a few hundred bucks, I was trying to get them, uh, and I do, I would only buy them under $300. And at one point, um, kind of when I was buying them, but after the COVID spike, uh, they were still pushing around 500. COVID spike was its own thing. Now they're routinely and graded under 300. And I've been looking at more and more cards and they things just seem to be down, but things move in cycles. I don't think any of us believe that Mag Magic the Gathering is gonna go bust, you know, completely. There are still millions and millions of players worldwide. Now it's possible that the collectability can really go down for a while. And that's the tough part if you're ever looking to make some money 
on collectibles is that if things bust, but the brand stays alive, the bus can stick around for a long time, you know, a year, two, three years. That takes a lot of patience. But during that time, if you have said patience, right, you can get things like somebody just did. An unlimited Black Lotus that I thought was beautiful for under $10,000. Make you think. Please like and subscribe. We always keep talking about this stuff. You all are awesome. I read you on Reddit. I watch your other YouTube videos. There is a lot of knowledge out there. Keep at it, man.